Okay, then we've now come to the uh, the final part of our look at how to play Private Investigations by Dire Straits. So the first thing we're going to do then is to look at the uh, the finger picking uh, pattern that uh, Nofli uses over the 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 outro section, and it's um, he adds a few variations in there. So what I've done is I've put together a simplified version of it, if you like. It's it's more or less what he's doing throughout most of it. I'm just leaving out some of the uh, the variations just to save time really because there's a there's a lot of them and they're not that important they don't change the overall feel at the end okay so this is what uh, this is what I put together okay so that's just a little two bar finger picking uh, pattern. Uh, that repeats pretty much throughout. So for this what we're going to do is to place down our first finger on the second fret of the D string and our second finger on the second fret of the B string. We're then going to put down our third finger on the third fret of the B string and you'll probably notice that I'm putting two fingers down on the B string, that is deliberate. We're then going to put down our little finger on the fourth fret of the G string. Okay, and for the first bar then, the pattern is this. Okay, so we're going to play the open E string, the D string, then the B and the G together, the D string again, B and G together, then the D string, the B string, then we're going to take our little finger off, so we've opened up the G string now. We're going to play the open low E, then the G, then the B, and then the top E. Okay, and then the second bar goes like this. Okay, so for this we start off with all fingers down, play the low E again, then the D, G and the B together, D, G and B together. Okay, and this time we're going to take our little finger and our third finger off, leaving us with uh, what looks like a, an A7 chord. And we're going to play the D string, the B string, low E, the G string, the D, and then the G again. Okay, so for the two bars together then. So that will repeat six times in total uh, before we get to our first variation. Okay, so the first variation sounds like this. Okay, so that is the first bar of our picking pattern, exactly as you'd expect it. to play the low E, the G and the B, so this is with all of the fingers on, so it'll be the 3rd fret of the B string and the 4th fret of the G. We're then going to take all but our 1st finger off, so this will be 2nd fret of the D, and then we're going to play the open G and the open B, and we do that 2 more times. We then go to a C chord with a G in the bass, so this is 3rd fret low E, 3rd fret A, 2nd fret D, open G, 1st fret B, and then we go to an E minor chord. So this is just open, low E, 2nd fret on the A, 2nd fret of the D, open G and open B. Okay, so that variation one more time.
Okay, we then go back to our two bar pattern and play it one more time. We're then going to just play now a open low E string. Okay, there's now a seven bar pause, uh, at least on the classical guitar. The bass guitar keeps going and there's some um, atmospheric fills done on the uh, electric guitar. And then we're going to come back in again with exactly the same pattern. This time the pattern is played uh, for a total of two times. do the same variation as we did before okay we then play the first uh, bar of the pattern again and this time we're going to go to uh, an E minor do an arpeggio so this is the a, uh, sorry, the E string, A, D, and then the G, then go to our C chord with the G in the bass again, leave that to ring, and then we're going to play uh, a C arpeggio before resolving to an E minor chord. So for that arpeggio on our C, it's the E, the D, the G, and the B, then the E again, the D, G and then the E minor chord. Okay, so we're going to take a look at some of the electric guitar parts now. Uh, the electric guitar used was probably a Fender Stratocaster, similar to this one. And I suspect um, that the amp used was a, a Marshall amp, although I'm not sure which one exactly. Um, so let's have a go at the, uh, the first part then. This is something that's used in both the intro and the outro. It's this bit. Okay, I'm sure you recognise that. So for this, what we do is we slide onto the 10th fret of the A string. We then play the 9th fret of the D string. 9th fret of the G. 8th fret of the B, 7th fret of the top E, 10th fret of the B, and then 7th fret of the top E again. Okay, then in the intro that is repeated by uh, an echo chamber, by a delay, uh, rather than by another guitar, but if you're playing this in a band or something you could always get a second guitarist to, to do the, uh, the delayed repeat. Uh, we then have this. So it starts off in the same way, sliding to 10 on the A. Then have 9 on the D, 9 on the G, 8 on the B. Then we have 9 on the G, 7 on the B, uh, G even, and then 9 again on the G. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is this. Okay, so bar across the 12th fret. Okay, and then use your third finger to bar across the 14th fret on the D, the G, and the B strings. And what we're going to do here is go down, up, down, up, down. Slide back two frets. We're now barring across the 10th and playing the third fingers now on the uh, 12th fret. And then just do another downstroke. slide that away okay we start off uh, in that same position again now to do the next bit okay so for this again on the 14th fret with the third finger 12th fret with our first finger we're going to play down up down up down down up down and then we're going to pull the little finger off Sorry, not the little finger, the third finger off. Then 
we're going to grab 14 on the B and the G, play them together, and then just slightly bend them out of tune. Okay, so all of that gives you. Okay, we're then going to grab an E minor chord. Okay, and the other thing that's thrown in there occasionally uh, toward the end is a, uh, a C5 power chord, which is the third fret of the A string, fifth fret of the D, and fifth fret of the G. Some more E minors. He returns to the uh, C5. 